Hey guys, so Card Master Mix here, bringing you guys another Card Fight Vanguard Area deck profile, where I take all the archetypes in the game of Card Fight Vanguard, alphabetically sort them alphabetically, and deck profile them. This time it will be for Ashura Kaiser, which is the last deck that begins with the letter A, and the next deck will follow will be beginning with Bad End, beginning with the letter B, of course. Um, before this video begins, I just want to take a moment to deeply and sincerely apologize for the lack of the two videos I posted yesterday. Um, both those have been taken down. Not due to copyright, they were completely by my own design. Um, I realized they didn't have any audio to them, so I just removed them, because I know it's not entertaining to you guys. Um, so, or I mean, maybe you guys just enjoy not hearing my terrible voice but anyway regardless um i just wanted to go ahead and thank you so much for the overwhelming support um i know it's not about the views at all like a at all but i am sincerely grateful that i went to bed and I would have my last three videos at zero views. The most out of those three videos at two views. And I wake up and I have 17, 24, and like, what, what, what was it, 12? I mean, and I know it doesn't sound like a lot. But to me, that's amazing. It's, that's, more, that, that's more than I could ever hope for when I'm getting what, twice the amount of views that I have as, as, I, when I'm getting twice as many views as I have subscribers, that's just amazing, so, again, I know it's not all about the views, and it most certainly isn't to me, but I just wanted to take a second to thank you guys for watching my content and liking the video, um, I, I would say commenting, but, um, the comments I've gotten recently aren't very nice. So, yeah. Anyway, let's hop straight into this, right? Uh, so, first off, our starter is... And hang on, just, just bear with me here, okay? Because it's kind of weird. Evolving Reincarnation Mariah. Um... <laughs> I mean, hang on, let me explain this, okay? So, this... I know this is weird, I... I couldn't find another good starter I liked. I mean, I guess you could use, like, Extreme Better Capchon or something like that. Here's my here's my issue with it, though. I don't really like the idea of running an Extreme Battler card in an Ashura Kaiser deck. To me, those two archetypes just don't go together. I mean, they're both from the, you know, Grappler clan and whatnot, but, I mean... To me, I just don't like mixing clans. Um, I do that once in my next deck will follow Bad End, uh, that I've already mentioned before. But, at the same time, it's nothing that, like, I don't know. It, it's, it's more like an engine, it's not me combining archetypes, you know? Um... But anyway, I'll get to that when we get to that video. Um, but yeah, first off is its pioneer skier, skill. Sorry, uh, when it when another clan from this when another unit from the same clan rides this unit, you may call this back to a rear guard circle. This card got like back to a rear guard circle. Um, yeah, I know it's only 4K, but um, it's just to ensure you don't get grade stuck. Um, it won't probably happen with eight grade threes, but you know, just just in case you do. Until then, um, it's more of like a casual, most certainly more of a casual deck. Um, I know some people, shout out to Team, uh, Team Fairy Tale uh, uh, SF's Natsu, um, for piloting it so successfully. Personally, though, um, I just don't have luck with it. Um, I've beaten a few kind of noteworthy decks, like I've beaten Star Vader. I've beaten Messiah, I've beaten Genesis, um, but none of those I would consider, like, noteworthy, um, and honestly, it's just because my trigger lineup, but anyway, let's go ahead and hop change that, because that, we are done with our starter, so, um, 
Right, activate on the record server count on this one, put this unit into your soul, look at the five parts in the top of your deck, search for one, grade three, grade and noble grappler. Clan unit from among them, reveal it to your opponent, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. So, I think you guys have already read that by now, but it's the grade three searching unit. Um, just so you guys know. So, that's it for the starter, of course, and that's when we're into trigger lineup. We're running 12 crit, 4 heal. So, um, I just wanted to stick with the theme of work rewards or battle rewards or whatever, like machines and risers and whatnot. So, let's just go ahead and, uh, show you guys my tree lineup. So, I don't know, four copies of Lad Lightning. Activate on the Rearguard Circle, move this unit into your soul. If you have a Nova Grappler Clan Vanguard, unflip one card and you damage it. It's just a free counter charge, basically. Um, which is really nice. So, there's where I'm running that. As I assume practically everybody is in any no grappler deck. Meanwhile, we have four copies of Minimum Riser. This is just simply for the fact that it's a crit trigger. It's 5k vanilla, but it's it's a critical trigger. Um, and same with Meter Riser. So I pronounce Meter Riser. Um, I don't know if I pronounce Meter Riser, or is it? No, I think I pronounce some Meteor Riser, but they technically pronounce Meter Riser, but. Eh, whatever, I'm not gonna say it correctly, just to appease you guys. No, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, chill, 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 I'm kidding. I just, I believe it's pronounced Meteorizer. You're more than welcome to correct me on that in the comments below, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'm also running four copies of Extreme Battle Grand Seal. It's the heal trigger that is auto soul blast one, this card's discarded from your hand, this cost to call me if has a candidate from your Gijiza, the G Garden. If the number of face-up cards in your damage zone is one or less, you may pay the cost, and if you do, counter charge one. And if the number of cards in your damage zone, the number of face-up ones. So, there's that. And that's it for the great series and trigger lineup. Alright, and now we'll move on to the great ones, which we have, let me see, which we have, like, 13 of. Which is, I admit, an odd number. So, starting off, we have two tough boy. Um, just the AK base, because I like running those, um, it's very good, um, for first turn attacking, as well as first turn defense, a uh, first turn defense, as well as second turn attacking, and I just really like it. Moving on, we also have three copies of Bear Down Samurai, which is direct support for, you know, uh, for sure. Auto in the rear guard circle, during your battle phase, when you know what grappling, it becomes stand, playing it becomes stand. If you have a vanguard with the sword and its card name, this unit gains plus chaos and power until the end of the turn. So, uh, this makes a uh, 22k column with another card because the grade 2 version of this card, called Daredevil Samurai, actually has the exact same effect. Only he's 9k, so 9 plus 3 is 12. And 7 plus 3 is 10. 12 plus 10 is 22. 22k column. So, there's that. Um, so, that's just a pretty cool little combo you can do whenever you stand one of your rear guards in that column. Also, um... Well, just any rear guard, really. Also, we're running four copies of the Stride Fighter Extreme Battle Air Sheet. It's just a Stride Fighter. We don't have any way to get its usage out the Herald unit, which is this, searching out the Master unit, which is Victor. But uh, at the same time, it doesn't really matter because um, no one really uses it for that. I feel like most people are just using it for the Stride Fighter ability. But anyway, moving on. We also, to wrap up the Grand Lunar, have four copies of Lady Cyclone, which is a perfect RG, that is the Unflipper, she's a card, auto, she's a card from your hand, discard it when it's shooting twice in the guard and took over from your hand, you may pay the cost if you do choose one of your vanguards that has been attacked, not rear guards, but your vanguard, it has to be the vanguard that has been attacked, and it cannot be hit into the end of the battle, and also, if you have a card named Lady Cyclone, this card, in your drop zone, not damage zone, drop zone, choose up to one card in your damage zone, turn it face up. Now, if you just happen to have two copies of this card in your hand and you need to nullify an attack, if you call this card the Guardian Circle, you're required to drop a card first. So discard the second copy and then nullify the attack, and then you'll technically get the counter charge since there's a copy in the in the uh, in the drop zone. So there's that. But anyway, that wraps up the Grand One lineup. Just a real cool, interesting combo that I share with you guys. Moving on to Grade Twos, we are running we're running 14 of them. But, hang on, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. So, first off, two copies of King of Swords, because it's a 10k vanilla. Um, I just like it because, again, same reason I like 8k vanillas. It's just a good base, good strong attacker on your turn. Uh, I mean, good strong, yeah, good strong attacker on your turn. Great, great defender on the opponent's turn. So, anyway. Uh, moving on, we also have two copies of Brutal Jack, just because 
I don't really know what else to throw in here to be honest with you, but I just like this card. Um, when I was testing this deck, there'd be so many cases where people don't have a tank ever in their lap best, and they couldn't get over this 11, so it's like a 5 to guard, or a 10 to nullify, or something crazy like that, um, whereas normally people would just take it, so it was amazing. So, continuous Vanguard or Rearguard Restraint, this unit cannot attack, but also activate on your Vanguard or Rearguard Circle Tunnel Plus 1, and until the end of the turn, this unit reduces its Restraint skill minute it can attack. And also, automatic on the Vanguard Circle, and this unit is boosted by the Noble Black Player Clan unit, this unit gains 5,000 power, until the end of that battle. Um, so that's just a pretty cool way. Unfortunately, this only makes a 20k column, not 21, when you are using the Mario behind it, but it's not that big of a problem. Uh, moving on, we also have four copies of the aforementioned, oh, let's get to this card for show. We have four copies of White Hank, Cool Hank, whatever you want to call it. So, Auto on the Real Guard Circle, Generation Break 1. Um, and of course, it, it goes on to explain what generation break is. Counter blast one when this unit attacks a vanguard, attacks not hits. If this unit is boosted, you may pay the cost, and if you do, choose one of your other rear guards and become stand. So stand it, and that unit gains plus 5,000 by until the end of the turn. And this ability cannot be used for the rest of that turn. Alright, so basically, it's like a free stand trigger. Well, not free, but whatever. As soon as you hit, as as long as you are at least GB1, count plus one, and you basically get a, you get to choose a unit, stand it with 5k power. So that's good. And of course, that sets off Bear Down Samurai. And the next card we're talking about, which is the four copies of aforementioned Daredevil Samurai. So auto on the Rearguard Circle during your battle phase, and you know a grappler clan unit will come stand. If you have a Vanguard or Shore in the same card name, this unit gains plus 3,000 power until the end of the turn. So that just makes a 22k column I mentioned earlier. So that's it for the grade 2 lineup. Moving on to grade 3s, so we're running 8. Which is four copies, of course, of the original, <laughs> the amazing original Ultimate War Machine, the Ashura Kaiser version 1.0. So this card is ancient, um, but it, I mean, it was actually one of the very few cards back in the day that actually had an 11k base, um, even as a grade three, because Brutal Jack, Brutal Jack was a very strong grade two back in the day. Because most grade 3s only had like 9 or 10k power. Uh, there's a very select few handful that had 11k. Most grade 2s could only wish to be a 10k. The others like 7, 8, and 9s. Um, but, I mean, Brittle Jack was just amazing. Which is another reason I'm running the deck. It's really just because the magic numbers is, is all basically. Um, but anyway, back to Asura Kaiser. Continuous on the Vanguard or Rear Guard Circle. If you don't have another Nero Grapple Command, Vanguard or Rear Guard. You know, on the, on the Vanguard or Rear Guard Circle, this unit gains minus 2,000 power. Uh, also, auto on the Vanguard Circle, when this unit drive checks, when this unit's drive check reveals a great thing that client, no grapple client unit, choose one of your rear guards and stand it, which of course, you can then use to stand the cool Hank. If its first attack failed, attack with it again, and if it hits, you stand, uh, the, you kind of blast one and stand the other two units. Um, I mean, it's just amazing, it really is. Um, Ideally, you'd attack with the rear guards first, like both the rear guard columns first before swinging them with this, but, you know, it's alright. Um, I understand that some people might kind of be confused on that, but trust me, just go for it, alright? Just, just try, please just try your best to, uh, remember what I'm saying here, because you will not regret it. Um, basically, if you save the Vanguard to attack the last, and you somehow, as much as a brick as it is, double uh, drive check, uh, double grade threes. Uh, if you drive check double grade threes, that's essentially both your columns back for free. You get cool Hank and the supporting unit, and then that gets back your column. Um, I mean, it really does. So, anyway, uh, that's it for that. Going on to the final grade three in the deck, as well as the, wrapping up the main deck, we have the Immortal Assurkaiser. Um, Auto on the Vanguard Circle, limit break 4, this ability is at 3 or 4 more damage. When this unit's drive check reveals a grade 3 double grapple clan unit, until the end of that battle, this unit gets auto Vanguard Circle. On the Vanguard Circle, counter blast 2 and choose 2 double grapple clan units from your hand and discard them. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked the Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your Vanguard and one of your rear guards, stand them both, and this unit gains plus 10,000 power until the end of the turn. And this ability cannot be used for the rest of that turn. 
It also has a crossroad still skill where continuously on the Vanguard Circle. If you have a card named Ashura Kaiser in your soul, this unit gains plus 2,000 power at all times. So making a 13k base, which is actually very good. I explained that in my Amon deck profile, but really, um, it's amazing. It also just has the Lord skill, which I've already gone over. So that wraps up the grade 3 and uh, main deck lineup. We want to say extra deck and uh, stride units. We have two copies of Meteor Kaiser Victor. First off is a stride text, and second off is its active skill. Uh, Activate on the Vanguard Circle once a turn. Ch choose a face down card named this card from your G Zone and turn it face up, so Persona Flip. And until the end of the turn, this unit gets auto on the Vanguard Circle, and this unit's attack hits the Vanguard. It doesn't have to attack as a hit. Um, she's up to one, I, well, I guess it's say it can't just stack it, it has to hit, rather. She's up to one of your rear guards, st stand it, and then it gains plus 5,000 power until the end of the turn. So it's basically like, uh, Immortal or Shura Kaiser, only a little bit better. Or, I guess, a better cool hang, however you want to word it. And auto on the Vanguard Circle, Generation Break 3. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, she's up to one of your rear guards, stand it, and it gets plus 5,000 power until the end of the turn. Um, the best way to pull this off on your first stride is if you generation guard you won't get off its effect on if you're both the grade three you you'll generation guard for your first unit you won't be able to use gandred's skill but it doesn't really matter um because you're not really going in for that at, that at the beginning of the game and then you'll stride in the meteor kaiser victor use a skill to persona flip and then there's your three copies the two energy zone and this unit on your vanguard circle which counts as gb3 that we can activate both effects simultaneously. Well, I guess I should say at the same in the same turn, but you know, it's probably the same thing. Finally, we also uh, I mean not finally, but we also have two copies of Meteor Kaiser Rick Plasma. Um, first off is a Stride Text and activate on the Vanguard Circle. Counter Blast two and choose a face down card named Meteor Kaiser Rick Plasma from your G Zone and turn it face up. So basically, Persona Flip. And if the number, well, not basically, it is a percent flip. And if the number of face-up cards in your G-Zone is two or more, until in the turn, this unit gets strip minus one drive, and auto on the Vanguard Circle. Choose two cards from your hand and discard them. At the end of the bout, this unit attacks the Vanguard, and it hits attack the Vanguard. You may pay the cost, and if you do, stand this unit. And this ability cannot be used for the rest of that turn. Even if you do not pay the cost, this ability cannot be used for the rest of that turn. Um, so basically, this is just a... Enhanced version of Immortal Shura Kaiser, and that it restands and attacks again. Um, other than that, let's move on to the final two stride units with Meteor Kaiser Bustard or Bustred, however you want to pronounce it. First off, is, is it Stride Text, and its second skill is auto in the Vanguard Circle once a turn. And I lost one, and choose a face down card from your G Zone to turn it face up. Not this card, any card that's face down in your G Zone. Um, I highly recommend that you flip up a, another copy of Blast Red anyway, but you don't have to. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost, and if you do, choose the same number of your guards, the number of face-up cards, and your guys are Blast Red in your G-Zone, so this card in your G-Zone, and stand them. If two or more units are st stood with this effect, if and you have five rear guards until end of turn, this, until the end of that battle, I'm sorry, um, this unit gets auto in the ring of a circle, count Blast one, choose two cards in your hand, and discard them. At the end of the battle, you may pay the class and reduce the this unit, and it gets minus two drive until the end of the turn, which gives it four drive checks. Um, I guess it's kind of a little bit better of Rick's Plasma, um, because of all the different effects that it can go off on. Um, I mean... You can really just do kind of whatever you want, whichever ratio you prefer, four of it, two for plasma, four bust red, or, uh, bust red, or four bust, uh, two bust red, and four of plasma, just whichever way you want to go about it, but that's what I'd recommend. And finally, for the final stride unit, I have four copies of Baudita Ashura Kaiser, which is, of course, the direct support, uh, for what I like to, uh, well, direct stride support, which is, of course, in turn direct support. I like to compare the Nova Grappler Ashura deck to Genesis is Fenrir, uh, support, because I'm a, god, who remembers when that was the newest thing on the block? Both things, uh, both archetypes, as you say, got four cards of support, with no grapplers, Ashura Kaisers, getting the grade one, the grade two, the new grade three, and of course the stride unit, which is grade four, and then 
uh, the exact same thing happened with Fenrir. Uh, Genesis is Fenrir, but where they got the Grade One, the Grade Two, which introduced the Revelation keyword, and it got the um, and then it got Fenrir himself and the Fenrir Stride unit, and it got I guess technically some indirect support with Vanagander, but anyway, and it's for another video. Um, so first off is it Stride text? Uh, just a quick little comparison if you guys want to know some kind of worthless information to be honest with you but whatever um activate on the ringer circle once turned it's a grade three card for your drop and put it on the top of your deck shuffle your deck and until another turn this unit gets out on the ringer circle this unit drive checks a grade three uh card well when this unit drive check reveals a grade three card sorry bushy road forgive me for trying to shorten your card text if you have a heart card with a short Kaiserman's card name, choose up to four of your, choose up to four of your rear guards and stand them. I'm running four copies of this card A because it's the main, well, I guess it's not the main stride of the deck, but it's, I would say, if not the finisher, at least the, of course, namesake of the deck, uh, a short Kaiser, the new stride for it or whatnot. Um, but you know, I just think overall it's an amazing card. It stands like what all your rear guards except for the one behind the vanguard, which honestly doesn't really even matter because it's irrelevant at that point. Um, but anyway, uh, final trap. That's all the stride units. So wrapping up both the grade four, wrapping up the G guardians, the grade fours, and the entire extra deck and main deck and the entire deck itself. Um, we have Meteor Kaiser Gandred. So first off is its G guardian text and auto generation break one. Choose a face down G Garden from your G zone and turn it face up. When this unit is placed in the Guardian Circle, you may pay a cost and if you do choose one of your vanguards and then until the turn it gets auto on the vanguard circle. At the end of the ballot, this unit was attacked. If the attack did not hit, counter charge one. So that's just uh basically saying, Oi, you can use me, but make sure he doesn't hit, right? And you're like, right, is it alright, thanks, mate. And he just blasts off to wherever he goes, I guess the tent with the G zone, but whatever. <laughs> It <laughs> just takes like fuel. But anyway, that's that. That's just me being a child. Anyway, uh, this deck profile was mainly for a friend who used to love playing Never Grappler. Shout out to Swaggy P. You're awesome. Um, I mean, really, he's awesome. Uh, as all of you guys are. It's just um, I feel I need to shout him out because he's he's been with me literally since the beginning. And uh, I just want to also before I end this video, thank all of you guys in general. Just all of you. Thank you for the amazing support you've shown me on this channel, um, and just everything. Thank you guys so much. With that being said, I've been your host, Comaster Phoenix, signing out. See you guys next time. Have a good one.